I still can't reach the hole. That's a great idea, but the plank is a little unstable. I'll give you both some shackles. Can you use them to hold down the plank? What good would that do? Morgane wants us to use our combined weight to hold the plank in place, right? Yes. I'll find proof that we're not the ones harvesting the turtle eggs. When we were brought to this hut, I heard some villagers say they were heading to Turtle Beach. They took the path by the red flowers. Thanks, Father. Just for once, luck is on my side. The guard seems to be sleeping. Waking him up would be a really bad idea. Someone's left an offering to the turtle god. Oh, that's disgusting. Giant caterpillars. But perhaps their disgusting nature will come in useful. Hmm. Judging by these statues, turtles really are sacred to these people. I'm not going to touch their sacred statues. The hut is made from slats of bamboo. Are you all right? Hurry up, Morgane! Goodness for that hole, or I'd never have escaped the hut. Could it be one of those legendary rifts leading to Asmodia? Or maybe just an optical illusion? I believe I can fly. I believe I can... Oh, scratch myself. I can't take them with me. These statues, this sight must have once been magnificent. A true captain doesn't leave his crew in danger. I will save them all, or I'll die trying. Diego was like a machine making this path. I'm sure Percy would love these flowers. Huh, I've got more urgent matters than gathering a bunch of flowers. This must be the path Father mentioned. Take 
faster, will you? We haven't got all day. I've got to stop them digging up those turtle eggs. I need to get rid of the people on the beach somehow. The islanders worship a turtle god. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. One of Simpkin's thugs is forcing them to dig up the turtle eggs. The rest of the islanders probably don't know what's going on or that the shaman has betrayed them. He looks familiar. I think he's one of Arno's cronies. If I go near him, he'll alert everybody if he doesn't shoot first. Waking him up would be a really bad idea. I'm not going to touch their sacred statues. I've got to put a stop to this, but I can't get close without being shot. Nothing happened. Uncle Eduardo must be busy or out of range. I'll try again later. The sparkling diamonds make these holes look like terrifying eyes. What was that noise? Is there someone here? Carry on digging while I take a look. <laughs> Help me! Help! Wait a second. That attitude is all too familiar. Bobby, is that you? M Morgane? Morgane! Thank goodness it's you! How Bobby looks terrible, like he hasn't been eating or sleeping properly. Bobby? Morgane? I've been looking for you. I thought I'd never find you. I'm so glad you did. Are you working for Hillary Simpkins? What a mistake that turned out to be. The man is evil. I joined his ship six weeks ago and regretted it ever since. And the food is so bad it often makes me sick. Why did you leave home? Don't you know that Nell loves you? What? When did this happen? She's loved you ever since we were children playing together. <sighs> Even with my perfect eyes, it seems I've been blind. 
Why were you forcing the islanders to dig up these eggs? Y you think I wanted to? I know that the islanders think them sacred, but I had no choice. Captain Simpkins would have killed me if I'd refused. Here, take this one I was protecting. We can put this right, but you've got to help me. Just tell me what you want. Go along the coast to my ship, find Diego, and tell him what's happened. Oh, not Diego. I remember him from when I was a kid. He scares me. Just do it, Bobby. She's very young. Simpkins doesn't care who he forces to work for him. I can't leave her here at the mercy of Hillary's men. I need to bring her round. Ah! What? Don't worry, you're safe. I'm Morgane. Who are you? My name is Tanamar. Baba Carey forced me to harvest eggs for the Outlanders. Outlanders? Oh, you mean Hillary and his thugs. And you? Are you not an Outlander? Hillary Simpkins has befriended your shaman, and they are doing harm to your people. I'm here to help you. Baba Carey shouldn't help the evil Outlander. The Golden Turtle will be angry with him. How can an amber statue be angry with the shaman? The amber turtle is not the golden turtle, but a representation used for ceremonial purposes. It helps when we make offerings and say prayers. What then is the golden turtle? The true turtle lives deep in the island's jungle. But 20 years ago there was a great disaster that killed all the elders. That's dreadful. Much of their knowledge was lost, including their route to the turtle chamber. If we could speak with the golden turtle, it would tell us what we must do. Have you heard of Buckleberry Tanner? There are some tales that he came here before the disaster and was a friend of the golden turtle. So there is more to our quest. The elders became angry with him for making maps of the island, especially the route to the turtle chamber. But if we had those maps, we could find the golden turtle again. This now looks like a route into the heart of the island. No wonder it weaved about. It was a path disguised as a sea route. Hillary Simpkins' ship. I knew he was behind the egg harvesting. And because he's so friendly with the shaman, they must be in it together. The sea is beautifully clear. It must be the white sand and coral reefs. Take a look at this. Does it make sense to you? Yes! I know exactly what this means. It is a path into the jungle. It will take us to the Golden Turtle? Well... Come on, we should head there straight away. Huh? How do I know that you aren't like the other Outlanders? I won't take an evil person to meet the Golden Turtle. Tell me what I must do to prove that I'm not evil. Huh? I wish I knew. 
I wish I had the instincts of an animal. They always seem to know when a person is good. I hope Uncle Eduardo is nearby. Don't let me down when I need you the most. Uncle Eduardo, I'm so glad you came. I'm here, my beauty. I love you, Uncle Eduardo. I love you, Morgan. How wonderful. I've never seen a bird speak like that before. He used to belong to Tanner. He's the one who brought us to this island. If you tell him your name, he'll respond. Hello. I'm Tanamar. Ah, Tanamar. Tanamar, pretty. <laughs> wow! You really must be a kind person to have a friend like this. Can we visit the golden turtle now? Golden turtle! Golden turtle! Yes! We need to go this way. Golden turtle! Ah, ah, follow me, follow me. <laughs> 